In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Zillow.com to find after repair value comps for your real estate investment properties. Or maybe if you're looking to sell your home, you can see what other homes are selling for to get an idea of what to price your property for. So you're going to want to come to Zillow.com and it's going to bring you to this home page here where you have the option to buy, rent, or sell. So we're going to go ahead and hit sell and you're going to type in your location in the address bar so we're going to say that our property is in uh, we'll say Lansing, Michigan so we'll type in Lansing, Michigan and it's going to bring up all kinds of property listings it's got you know 1496 results here so we need to narrow that down because we're looking for what our property could potentially sell for. So in order to do that, you want to use one of those features called recently sold here. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck the rest of these features. And then you're going to want to select the one that says recently sold. So what this is, is it's data that shows you all the properties that have recently sold in Lansing Township. So there's 4,658 properties that have sold and you're going to be able to then look at the prices for the ones that still have data available to show you and see what those properties sold for in order to get an idea of what your property you might sell for. So you're going to need to narrow down the criteria next because this is way too many results and you want to stay within your neighborhood. So let's say, let's find an area first to show you for an example. All right, so let's say your home's for sale in East Lansing, Michigan, and we're going to first set how many bedrooms we have. So we need to set three beds for a three bedroom house, and we're going to uncheck all of these that are home types because we just want it to show houses only. We don't want to see comps for apartments or condos. And then the more tab, we can set bathrooms. So we've got at least two baths in our house, and our house square footage is you know 2100 square feet to 2500 square feet our property is 2300 square feet so we'll go 200 square feet either way and then we'll go ahead and hit apply and that's gonna bring up all the comps data so if our property happens to be over here in this neighborhood we can zoom in and see what comps have recently gone for in this neighborhood so it looks like there's been a 234,000, a 230,000, another 235,000. So that gives you a feel that, you know, that there's several in the 230s. And then you've got some higher comps, 266, 288, and 315. So overall, you know your range in this neighborhood would be somewhere between 230 and 315. So then it's a matter of, you know, kind of determining, well, why did these go for this amount? So this was a three-bed, three-bath. And it was 2154 for square footage. This was a 3-3 as well, similar square footage. Uh, this was a four bed, two and a half. So you're going to make adjust to these comps based on, you know, the additional or uh, less square footage the property has as well as the additional bedrooms and baths the property might have that yours may or may not have. And that's going to help you adjust your comps. So if you see a property, you know, that sold, for 315 and it was a 33 and yours is a three uh, three bed four bath home then you know you have an extra bathroom and if yours is 2300 square foot it's bigger so you might be able to get you know more than 315,000 because this home has less bathrooms and less square footage than yours uh, it can work the opposite as well so if your home was only 2,000 square feet and it was only a three bed two bath then your home might not sell for 315 it might sell for less because your property lacks uh, the extra square footage and that extra bathroom that this home had uh, you're gonna want to look at level of finish so if your home is in nice after repaired shape if you went in and did a rehab it's in super nice top shape it could possibly get a higher price a sale price than some of these homes that might have just been you know an average livable condition that the people sold them at the time you know they weren't just recently renovated but since yours is a recently renovated property it might be able to get more than these homes because of how brand new your house is so overall this is zillow.com 
you want to use it uh, to find recently sold comps. So you just come in here, go to the recently sold tab, and then type in all your criteria so that you can match what house you have that you're trying to sell. And you can find similar properties like yours that have recently sold. And then you'll zoom in on the map to your neighborhood area within a few miles of your neighborhood and see what all the recently sold prices are. Now if there's a lot of results, sometimes you can come in here to sold and last. And right now it's set to any, but you can choose the last 90 days, the last 6 months, the last 12 months. And that will allow you to you know, see more recent sales where this is any. So it could be you know, 3 years ago. These could be from three years ago, so you want to find you know more recent sales within the last 90 days to six months, so that the market is more realistic. Because three years ago, home prices could have been up or down depending on your area, and they could have changed since then. So these comps could be outdated. So that's one more feature to come in here and make sure your setting is how recent this sold data is. So that wraps up today's tour tutorial on how to use Zillow to find comps. If you'd like more tutorials, just check out our channel. We've got lots of other real estate investing tutorials. And you can even check out under30wealth.com, which is a real estate investing and wealth building website where I teach you about personal finance, money management, and talk a lot about investing and how to begin building wealth through investing. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.